feeling a little nervous doing this video, so I'm going to light up a candle. Hi guys, this is Crystal from Budget by the Bag. Today's video is going to be different. I'm going to be discussing our debt journey slash debt confession. I'm a little nervous to say the least. I think it's because one of the debts was solely a mistake on my part. And as we go through each one of them, I hope you'll understand our journey and know where we're coming from. I take debt very seriously. Let's get started. Let's go over the first debt. It was $9,000 on a used car. I'm going to tell you the story about how that came about at the age of 16. My mom and my dad worked full time and most times overtime. I was the oldest of three kids. My responsibilities as the oldest grew as we got older. I was 15 going on 16 taking driving lessons. My dad came up to me one day and said, Crystal, I found a repo and I can put $500 down. However, I need you to take over the car loan. At that time, I was a sophomore in high school. I was taking honor courses at school, plus doing extracurricular activities such as volleyball. I was actually on the varsity team during my sophomore year. And as my dad was telling me all this, I realized that I needed a job. So my mom asked her friend if there was a job available at a retail store. I was able to start working pretty much right away. My car note was about 215 or $235 a month. But that wasn't all that I was paying. I had the portion of the insurance plus gas and whatever else needed for the car. While this loan was not under my name, the responsibility of this loan was definitely mine. My parents couldn't afford this car loan. I had to step up and take over this car loan. That is why this is on my list because I saw it through, I paid for it, and got the benefit of using it. Of course, I did have to tow my sister and my brother around town, but nonetheless, I used it for, you know, work, school, and personal life. I graduated third in my class from high school. I received a presidential scholarship at a community college. It was for two years and it paid for my tuition and books. I couldn't afford to go to a major college right away. So this was the best option for me. As I was nearing the second year of the program, I was getting nervous. I did not have the money to go to a major college. The president actually extended one more year for this scholarship, which I was grateful for. So I finished my third year in community college 
and because I graduated third in my class, I could go to any college in Texas, as I was in the top 10%. My husband and I ended up going to a major college where we were there for another two and a half years. I graduated from that major college with $26,000 in student loan debt. My parents could not afford paying for my tuition books. They did help some, but in the reality, they had two other kids back at home. So I took out loans and even had to ask my grandfather to co-sign one of them. I was nervous because who wants to take on that responsibility for somebody that was young? I remember my mom calling me one day and she said, your grandfather called me. He got a letter stating that you were done with your student loans. He was proud of me, is what she told me. The next debt was my husband's student loans. He had a little bit more money than I did for school. He is definitely the saver between the both of us. So when we graduated from the major college, we had $41,000 worth of student loans. So we graduated from college and we moved to a major city. My husband and I rented an apartment for a one year lease. And during that time, we were talking about debt, we were talking about our future. And one day he asked me, how much debt did I have? My husband didn't know or my boyfriend, but now husband, didn't know how much debt I truly had. I had accumulated $16,000 worth of debt in credit cards. When he found out, I'm pretty sure he was slightly disappointed, but what he told me was, we're going to work this out and it meant the world to me that he was not upset and I think it's because he knew that my parents you know couldn't afford um, me going to school and I was using the cards, you know, to pay the differences. I'm sorry. This is like my third time filming this video. So So we built up a plan to pay off my credit cards and our student loans together. One, because we were very serious about our relationship and we were thinking about the future. My husband's car went out on us within a few months of moving into the apartment. And he had to get a new car and he was able to afford a $21,000 loan for that car. I would say about six months later, my car went out and we couldn't fix it. We didn't have the tools, nor the time, nor the space like we do now. So I bought a new car as well for $17,000. We ended our apartment lease after a year and we moved into my sister-in-law's house. We were there for about a year and got engaged before we left her home. We were able to save money for a down payment 
plus tackle more of our uh, student loan and credit card debt. I say we, it was mine, but my husband or boyfriend at the time was helping me. So that's why I keep referring to we. We bought a house and it was $181,000. It was under both of our names. And that's the house that we are currently living in now. It's a great home. Our parents were very proud of us. This was a huge accomplishment for us as a family. And to backtrack just a step, we actually got married right before we closed on the house and moved in within a few months of that event. I didn't have a wedding. I didn't even want one. I just got married at the gist of the peace and we went to New York for our honeymoon. So we moved into the house. At that time, the student loans were gone. The credit cards were gone. We did have our two car loans. However, they were uh, getting smaller and smaller because we were paying them off as much as we could. We were in the house for about five to six years and we didn't have any more car notes. However, my husband wanted a truck, so we took my car and traded it in for his truck. That truck cost $32,000. When we bought the truck, we only had the house note. So we were able to afford this truck. We were wiser. We had, you know, a better understanding of finance. And so buying this truck was not as difficult in terms of our finances like it was with the new cars. Why? Because when we bought those new cars, we still had student loans and I had credit card debt. So it was calmer when we bought the truck, to say the very least. We paid the truck off within four years. And at that time, we had Jacob. I was driving my husband's uh, sedan car, and I wanted an SUV that was higher up and wasn't so low as the car I was driving. I think Jacob was five when we decided to get an SUV. We still had the house payment, but we did not have a truck loan because we had paid it off. When we bought the SUV, it was for $50,000. And I know that's high, but we researched and decided on this SUV. And that was the last debt that we paid off back in December. The total amount that we have accumulated in debt without interest was $367,000. With interest, we're looking at about $385,000. This is our number. This will not be the end of our debt journey though. We are going to have another house note. However, at this stage of our life, we are investing more. We are saving more. So we will be more prepared going into this new home. I hope Jacob watches this video when he's older and he sees 
what we've accomplished as his parents. Because I hope that he will do better than ourselves. That's why I'm proud that he wants to be part of my YouTube journey and he does cash stuffings. I want him to learn more about money than I did at his age. And I hope that he will look at this video and see, wow, my parents, you know, went through some stuff and accomplished a lot. And I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. I know you could be doing something else. And I appreciate you. My next video will be a cash stuffing. It will be in lighter terms. And I hope y'all have a great one. Bye guys.